Watch you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 will now record everything you do. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, Microsoft have released a new feature called Recall. Now Recall runs in the background all of the time. It records everything you do on your PC, including your apps, your movies, your documents, your emails, your browsing history, your browsing tabs, and much more. And Microsoft will not record your DRM protected content, passwords, private browsing, or other sensitive information. Now Recall is powered by a NPU chip and stores the data in your local storage. So this feature is gonna then allow you to search and find all of the snapshots of your activities. And it can go back and store up to three months worth of data, which is quite a lot. And that to me is a big major concern. I suppose one good thing is that everything happens locally. It is stored locally according to uh, Microsoft. But can you trust Windows uh, to not send data back? That's my big concern. One big security flaw I can see is if you lose your laptop and it has this feature enabled, they would be able to see screenshots of everything you have been doing on that computer because it will be stored on there and it will be storing quite a lot of data. Every three seconds, it's going to take a snapshot of your computer. So the recall is encrypted using BitLocker device encryption and recall snapshots are stored locally. You can delete and disable everything entirely if you want to. And also recall is linked to your user profile, which is convenient uh, for them, I suppose. And Microsoft won't share the data with any other people using the same PC. According to Microsoft, this is what they're planning on doing. And you can see a bit of it here on their website. They've uh, put everything here to explain exactly how this is going to work. I'll leave some links in the video description where you can read in more detail because there is quite a lot of stuff to go over here. I'm pretty sure that everyone that watches my channel is going to want to disable this option immediately because this is worse than key logging. They are literally logging everything that you do on your computer, taking snapshots every three seconds, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's probably the biggest privacy concern that you're going to need to worry about when it comes to using a Windows operating system. So basically, Recall isn't just recording what you type, it's recording everything that you are doing with photo evidence every three seconds. And I think a lot of people are not even going to trust whether this is running when it's turned off, because this is probably a major privacy concern for a lot of people. And I can see loads of things going wrong with this feature when it's enabled on people's computers, especially if people sell their computer or maybe they lose their computer or someone steals it. There's going to be stuff on there that you might not want other people to see. So Copilot Plus is going to need 16 gigabytes of RAM and 18 logical processors, 256 gigabytes of storage capacity. And to enable recall, you would need at least 50 gigabytes of space free. And uh, the snapshots captured automatically pause once the device has less than 25 gigabytes of storage space left. And that's a large amount of storage that Microsoft are going to need to have this running. Now, you can disable this in group policy once it's released, but you'll see there on the screen that is the location. I'll make a video of that once this is released because I'm pretty sure there's not going to be one person that watches my videos that are going to want to use this feature at all. Now, the amount of disk space that users uh, can allocate to recall uh, varies depending on how much storage the device has. And we'll take a look at the following chart, which will show the storage space options uh, for Recall itself. Now, it's a lot of space that it's going to want to use. And you can see here on the storage allocation. And right there, you can see depending on the storage. So, for instance, one terabyte or more uh, storage allocation options for Recall, 150 gigabytes by default. So by default, they want 150 gigabytes if you've got one terabyte storage or more. So that's a lot of storage. Now, because of recall is going to be taking snapshots every three seconds and storing them on your PC, this is going to take up system resources, 
Also, it's going to be adding encryption to those as well, which is also going to take an enormous amount of strain on your system. So you're going to need to have a pretty beefy system for this to be running all the time, taking snapshots constantly. And then you can search all of this content using the Copilot app on your system. It's going to be able to find things that you were uh, looking at previously, and it can store this stuff for up to three months. So you can imagine how much data that is being stored or being uh, recorded at any one given time and stored on your PC and given the opportunity for you to recall uh, that uh, stuff that you was looking at up to three months ago. And that is quite scary, uh, to be honest. And uh, again, I don't think anyone is going to be wanting to use this particular feature. It's just a way of basically harvesting even more data about you, your habits, your search habits, what you're doing on your PC. And yes, it is stored locally, but that being said, it is still a major security risk. And also, it just means that do you trust Microsoft with all of your sensitive information that you've been snapshotting all of this time? It's quite scary to think that uh, they'll be monitoring your system with this app and it's constantly recording everything you do. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on Recall in the comments section down below, and let me know what you think about uh, Recall recording everything you do every three seconds and storing it on your PC, and all the content that is being stored is going to be able to be searchable using Copilot Plus on your PC. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand uh, why people would want this on their PC. It's just another major privacy concern for me. So I'll be interested to read your thoughts about this in the comments section. And also, any Linux users out there, give me a recommendation for a Linux distribution that I could use as a daily driver because I am really considering uh, Linux. I'm not joking. And this could be the final now in the coffin for Windows uh, for a lot of people if they go ahead and start implementing this in their operating systems, because I'm pretty sure people are not going to like it. Even with it turned off, there is no guarantee that uh, telemetry and harvesting of your data is still not going on in the background. There's no 100% guarantee of anything because this is not an open source operating system. And of course, it's completely locked down and you're just taking the word of Microsoft. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, not good news for this one, but my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And also, I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.